a lot of time as a child and I'll tell you what's going on here. There, It's a beautiful day, gorgeous. And you can see chemtrails off out there in that never ending fog bank out there that the military hides their nuclear tests under. But anyways, um, there is a serious lack of sea life here and normally when you would walk up and down this beach you could see different types of seaweed clumps everywhere. You would see birds everywhere. You would see crab parts up here washed up after high tide. This is just the tides going out. This is the high tide mark right here. Um, you would see huge clumps of these mussels and many of them would be alive. And you would see birds picking on them. You would see sandpipers over here chasing the waves back and forth and they would be picking at little crabs which is why the crab parts would be littering up here they eat those there's none of that there's no birds here um, <laughs> there were so many seagulls here when I was a kid you used to have to dodge them because they poop on you <laughs> and there was such a competition for food because there was so many seagulls and I'll show you lining the shores is nothing but resorts and hotels and all of these resorts and hotels had flocks of seagulls that would frequent these resorts and hotels because they know the guests will feed them and some of these seagulls would spend so much time at these resorts and hotels that they lived on the balconies um, they learned special tricks. Oh look, there's a seagull. I never thought there would be a day when I said, oh look, there's a seagull. Because there used to be so freaking many. And that's like one of the few I've seen here today. And as you can tell, they are not lining the balconies of these resorts. They sit up there for hours all day long, every day without end because they get fed. They're not here. Everything you show and everything you don't and everything that you dream. Everyone you know and everyone you don't and everything in your scene, in your life. This is your time to decide. There are some sea anemones. We waded out the tide a little bit on these tide pools. All the barnacles on the tops of these rocks that used to be lined with mussels. The mussels are gone, the barnacles are dead. See, they're mostly crushed, exposed, they're whitewashed, which means they're dead. So they are actually pretty discolored. They're usually really bright, bright pink. And there's usually the green in the middle is real bright green. They would look more like flowers on these rocks. So I would have to say that they are fading in color, whatever that means. But they seem to be relatively healthy and they close. They're real responsive. They also happen to be some of the only species lining these rocks that's left alive. But they shifted your scene in all
what I'm not noticing in these tide pools is a bunch of hermit crabs. There's a few here and there. Used to be, I think they were everywhere. There's little fish swimming about here and there. Not as many as I've used to seeing, but there are a few. Um, can't really, I've seen two different species of little small fish so far. Seen more fish than that, but they were of two different species. So there's one moving right there. Oh, there's a hermit crab. Starfish here, and normally by this time, you would see them over on these rocks that have overhang. Not seeing them. Um, yeah, not of any species. You can usually start seeing them on these rocks out here. No starfish. These are lined with mussels and some older barnacles. But the barnacle colony seems to be broken up and there's a lot of single older barnacles um, mixed in with what's left of the mussels here. So you can see all of these inside. It's your time. 
Is your time to decide what's in your 